Hey guys, at the suggestion of Leisure Guy and a couple of others, um, it came to my attention that I may have been a little harsh on uh, what uh, constitutes a bore brush. Compliments of my previous experience with a 1990s vintage, um, I think it was Body Shop. Uh, bore brush and the Wilkinson sword brush because I can't come up with a polite term to uh, refer to this on the open video channel. Um, the problem with bore brushes like this is that they actually haven't been allowed to uh, be shaped properly. These are actually stacked in a tube. In this case, it's garishly dyed to look like a proper badger brush. And uh, the top has been shaved off, so you wind up with sharp edged um, packed bristles as opposed to what you get with a proper badger, which is a nice soft bristle. These aren't trimmed, these are stacked and designed very carefully because anybody that's buying a badger quite frankly is paying enough money that they're not going to put up with anything less than fantastic performance. That's not to say that the guys who are using boar hair brushes are wrong. And in the past I have been less kind to the boar hair uh, brushes than maybe was fair. And I am more than happy to admit that I was wrong. I wasn't wrong about this. This, don't. Please, don't. Um, however, Omega, and this is not the Omega that I know a lot of the boar hair guys are promoting. This is a Omega something or other. It unfortunately does not appear to have a proper uh, model designation on it. Um, the closest I can get is an ART 0005-0411 on the bottom of it. I'm assuming 0411 is the manufacturing date. However, um, the difference between the two is this. Um, never mind the fact that it's not garishly dyed to pretend that it's badger. Um, the bristles, when you feel them, these have a very sharp um, this has been cut. You can you can truly feel the difference. This is something that I was not prepared for. The bore is actually soft in this case. I was very much surprised. And we'll just now. This is only the second time I've had this up for a drive, so I'm not goofing this. No, by the way, while we're waiting for this to soak, yeah. In reference to um, a couple of the drunk shaves that we've seen, I'm having a scotch with this, so. Um, Glenn Farkless, for those of you who are curious. I typically drink Isla if you really, really need to know that much about my life. And uh, in spite of what I'm told, that impresses absolutely nobody at a party. So. Um, it's more pliable. It hangs differently than a badger. And you know what? Just for comparison, this is my Volfix 407. And what the hell? I'm going to throw my badger, my silver tip artisan created one in the mix. Now, in here I have Mitchell's Wolf Fat, um, arguably one of the more fussy items. You guys, if you want to see a comparison of how well this can be lathered, hit my other videos. I don't want to blow a whole bunch of your time on this. Yeah. Just a quick comparison. And it's probably not going to come out the greatest, but I'm just going to hold this until it stops draining, mostly. 
There you go. Close enough. This is what a Badger silver tip of this size can hold. Now, of course, I am not completely draining that. I'll just park that. Easily two palmfuls of water. Okay. There's the Vulfix. This is a best badger, by the way. And of course, just by nature of the fact that this is larger, or not as large, I should say, as the silver tip. And there you go, I've managed to bring out all I can from that. Um, Let's say about a palm and a half of water. Now, the bore. Notice the bristles have a bit more spring to them, but unlike the shaved one, the clipped one that I showed earlier, this actually has a much softer feel to it. I'm going to drop that back in the water. And about a cup, about a handful of water by comparison. Now, is that a bad thing? No, not really. Um, if you've noticed my other shaving videos, one of the first things that I do when the, when the brush comes up out of the water is it's a couple of drops to try and knock the excess water out of it. So, is it significant? No, not really. Excuse me, I'll have another drink here. Cheers, boys. So, this is my gold test. What's it take to do this with Mitchells? Nothing up my sleeves. Remember, this is only the second time I've done this. I have not pre-prepared. There's no extra voodoo going down here. And I'm impressed. I have never been more happy to be wrong in my life. I have a cheap, relatively, brush that I can now recommend to beginners that will work for them. That's amazing. And it's soft. You can see an exfoliation that's not a nasty, sharp, yeah, it's a springier brush, definitely. But if you're only f just flipping the tip, I can totally see this working. As a matter of fact, um, Leisure Guy puts down enough stock in these, as do some others, and you know, I'm not, I mean, that's, that's just beautiful. And that's not really nasty sharp. I'm going to be test driving and breaking this in for the next two weeks. Um, I'm going to actually give up on my usual Badger hair brush. I don't think you're ever going to actually get me completely off of Badger hair with this guy. But uh, I'm surprised. I'm, like I said, I could not be happier to be wrong. And if that's the kind of lather that I can get out of this off of Mitchell's on day two, yeah, it's truly, truly worth putting down some effort into breaking this guy in and seeing what can a badger, or ugh, look at that, um, what can a boar hair brush do? So at this point, yeah, it's a, I bought this, if you're Canadian, this guy came from Shoppers Drug Mart. They have two there. Uh, this one was $14, the other one was $13. I think the only real difference is 
this one was a wooden handle, the other one was a uh, resin or a plastic handle. And yeah, um, stay tuned, you're going to see me using this over the next uh, one or two. I'm going to throw it through a bunch of stuff. I've got uh, a whole mess of different soaps to play with, as you probably know. And uh, I'm sorry, but if it can if you can knock Mitchell's into a reasonable foam, which you can see it did, it's definitely worth me saying I was wrong, and to Leisure Guy, this one's for you, my friend. Uh, you've taught me yet again that uh, my way ain't the highway. Not that I ever thought that it really was, but there you go. Cheers, boys.